one, two, three, go. Okay, so we start the year in September talking about motion, and uh, motion takes us most through September, October, and right up to Thanksgiving, quite frankly, right? And motion is a big part of mechanics and physics. And surprisingly, the first question is, what are the types of motion? Linear. Linear motion. And what is a specific type of uh, linear motion? It's very important, uh, earth sea level type motion. Free, free fall. Free fall. I take you up to the roof and I push you off. What do you do? Fall. You fall straight down. Is that linear motion? Yeah. And that is called free fall, yes? So free fall is a type of linear motion. And linear motion is motion in how many dimensions? It is motion in one dimension. Well, it's either X, Y, or sometimes Z, but we're going to deal with just X and Y. It's either going left or right, east or west, or it's going up or down. Up or down. And then the second type of motion was? Projectiles. Projectiles, and that's motion in two dimensions, usually X and Y. I throw you a baseball, is it only going straight at you? No, it's going up, reaching a peak, and then coming down. So it's coming X towards you, Y, and then Y negative, yes? Okay. What's the third type? UCM. UCM. So UCM is circular motion. Centripetal, centrifugal, okay. And then what was the last one? SHM. And as soon as we see SHM, we think of the old grandfather, grandfather clock. clock. Yes, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Where's the velocity maximum? Equilibrium. At equilibrium, and the velocity is? Zero. Zero. Okay. So all that stuff takes most of fall into early winter. This linear is what we started the year with. So this video, we want to talk about linear motion and free fall. Okay. So the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, measurements. And under measurements, we got scalar versus vector. And there's a lot of ways to break up measurements. There's a billion ways. But in early physics, all we really care about is scalar versus um, vector. And we also care about big measurements versus small measurements. I need three letters and three letters. MKS, Rachel, versus CGS. All right. So scalar versus vector. Distance, speed, time, mass are all scalars. scalars because all you need is a number or a magnitude, Stephen, right? Right? So if I uh, go to Cape May, 150 miles south, and then come back to Hawthorne, what's my distance? 300. Agreed? What is my displacement, Danielle? If I go to Cape May and come back, my displacement is? Zero. Yes, that's correct. Right. So distance is a scalar. Speed is a scalar. Time and mass are scalars. All we care about is a magnitude, a number. Okay? If you're driving on 208 and you're doing 40 miles an hour, that's a scalar. What would make that 40 miles an hour a vector? 40 miles an hour? West or north, or and you need a direction to make it a vector. So, what are some vectors? Velocity is a good uh, vector. What's another vector? Displacement. Displacement. What's another vector? What's the sexy part of motion? Acceleration. Acceleration. What's another uh, vector? Velocity, displacement, acceleration, force, force is a vector, momentum is a vector, all right, all those. But those are the important motion vectors. Bottom line, a vector needs a number and a direction. Um, a a um, scalar just needs a number, agreed? MKS stands for what? Meters, kilometers, seconds, kilometers, and seconds? No. CGS. No, no, no. Kilograms. Kilograms. Gotta edit that out. Meters, kilograms, seconds. CGS stands for? Centimeters, centimeters grams, grams, seconds. 
That says grams and seconds. So let's talk about linear motion. So linear motion. Um, what are the three critical equations? How many critical equations are there? Three. There are three. And what are they? Yeah. Yeah. Off the top of your head, don't look them up. You should know them by now. VF. Yeah. Thank you. VF squared. VI squared. And lastly, thank you. And of all those factors, there is only one scalar, and that's that one factor that's a scalar is time. Everything else is a vector. And what is the difference between vectors? Yes. Okay, so let's do a quick problem. The qu quicker we get into problems and not listening to me talk, the quicker we understand this stuff. Let's say you start here. You go six units east, you go three units south. Note that? <laughs> three units south, then we go nine units west. Are we good? Yeah. Then we go um, three units north. And I end right there. So there's my start and there's my end. And I do that in a time of four hours. Okay? okay. I want to know distance. I want to know displacement. I want to know velocity. And I want to know speed. Which of these four hours? Which of these four are scalars? Distance and speed. speed are scalars, therefore all we need is a number. So what is my distance? Six, three, nine, thirteen, and three. What is my distance? Twenty-one units. Do we care about which way we went? I think not. Therefore, what is my speed? And speed is a scalar. All I need is a number. I, I don't care about whether I'm going left, right, east, west, north, south, right? 21 over, 21 21 over 4 units per hour. Agree? Mm -hmm. yeah. Units per hour. Those two are scalars. Those are easy. Now I want to know my displacement. Displacement is the difference between where I started and where I and so I could do all kinds of loops here. All I care about is what? Start. Start. This distance right here. Uh, distance is the wrong way. word. This displacement right here. That's all I care about. Agreed? Mm -hmm. So therefore my displacement looks like three units. Three units. Three units. West. Thank you, Rachel. It would be three units west. Mike? Three west and three negative and three with an arrow pointing to the hallway, all say the same thing. Good point though. Three west. Therefore my velocity has got to be, velocity is distance over time or displacement over time? Displacement over time, so my velocity has to be three over four, so I'm three taking three units per hour. Right? So my velocity is 0.75, whereas my speed is like what? 5.2. Can velocity ever be greater than speed? Impossible. It can either be equal to or less. Can you move all day long and have a zero velocity? No. Yes. Yes would be the right answer. If you were out here on the track and you pushed a ping pong pole around the track with your nose all day long, what would be your velocity if you started there and you ended at the same spot? Zero. zero. Agreed? Because the displacement would be zero, zero. Because, the, because you started and ended at the same place. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, so we should know, be able to do this. Agreed? Yes. If you go to Cape May and come back to Hawthorne, 300 miles in six hours, what's your velocity? Zero. Zero. What's your speed? 300 over six, 50 miles per hour. Agreed? Yes. I should have said what's your, that, that's your speed, yes, 300 uh, over six. We're good? Uh, yes. All right, let's do a couple problems. <laughs>
And before we go any further, and, and this will become obvious as we start doing the problems, by convention, going to the right is positive. 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 Going up is positive. positive. Going down is negative. negative. And going to the left is negative. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that, but as we start doing problems, it'll make sense. The, the uh, sign in physics is a direction. It is not part of a number line. What's moving faster, something at minus three meters per second or something at three meters per second? They're moving at the same speed. One is moving to the, to the east. Which one is moving to the east? The positive. Three meters per second. And which one's moving to the left? The negative. Negative three. They're both moving at the same speed. Don't tell me minus three is less than three. This is not math. This is physics. That negative sign just means direction. Okay. So let us say that a ball approaches a hill with an initial velocity of 5 meters per second. It's on the hill and has an acceleration of minus 2 meters per second squared. Okay? I would like to know when does it stop? T sub s, when does it stop? Okay? So this is a complex for a first problem, but let's see. How we do. So which side of the hill is this ball on? The left side or the right side? It's a tedious thing, but it's important for a physics direction. It is on the left side. It's moving at five meters per second. It's moving that to way. the right. And the problem says it's approaching the hill. So it's got to be over here. It goes up the hill, and it has an acceleration of minus two. Is it speeding up or slowing down? Slowing down. Slowing down. Therefore, it goes up, and eventually it will Stop. turn around. And go and roll back. Agreed? So if I want to know the time at which it stops, what's the final velocity going to be? Zero. Zero. Agreed? Yeah. How many things do we need in linear processes to solve an equation? Three. Three, Three things. So we know the initial velocity, we know the final velocity, and we know the acceleration. Agreed? Yes. Which of the three equations should we know if we if use if we have both velocities and an acceleration? First one. I would use this one and that we can solve for t. Agreed? Yes. So let's do that. Vf equals Vi plus at. What's my final velocity? Zero. 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 What's my initial velocity? Five. Yes it is. Plus, what's my acceleration? Negative 2. Negative 2. Times t. Times t. Therefore, t looks like it's going to be minus 5 over minus 2. 2.5. What are my units of time in the MKS system? Seconds. 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 So it takes two and a half seconds for this ball to come up and stop. Do we agree? Yes. How does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. How far does it go up the hill? And by the way, these hills are huge. They, in high school physics, they never go over the hill. They always uh, stop on the hill. So the question now is, how far does it go up the hill? Yeah. What equation? Sorry. <laughs> D equals, you're going to get the same answer for both. VIT plus one half AT squared. We want to know the distance it goes. Is that distance or displacement, by the way? Displacement. 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 Displacement, but in this case it's the same as. Dis Agreed? Yes. Because it's one way up there. So we want to know the displacement from here to here. VIT becomes what? Five, five. times? One half. No? Oh. No, the 2.5. 2.5. Add the one half. Plus one half. What's my acceleration? Um, negative two. Negative two. And my time? 2.5. 2.5 squared. Someone do this math. You know I don't do math. Who's doing it? <laughs> Please, I insist. <laughs> Mike, what do you got? 6.25. Thank you, Mike. 6.25 M. Does that come out positive or negative? Positive because we started here and we went up. No, not up. We went north to the right. And right is positive. positive. So that better come out positive 6.25. Are we good? Yep. Questions?